Hello everyone. Okay, in this video, I will show you how to use the if function in Excel. It is a very, very important and um, a powerful function if you know how to use. Okay, so the situation here is, now on the first column, I have the date which ranges from the first of the, I mean, the first day of uh, 1926 all the way, I mean, in your file till 2010 or something. So over here, I'm just make a shortcut, you know. I I end the data in uh, somewhere in February 1926, okay. And each day we have an index return. It is a market return for a given day. Now requirement is if the return in a given day is more than one percent, okay. First, then give the value one. If not, give them. If not, give the value zero. In the second requirement is if the return is more than one percent, say good; otherwise, say bad. So, uh, here's how I do it. If let me zoom it in. Uh, actually, the formula is right here. So equal to if open the parentheses. If what? Of course, if the return, right? The return for that day more than one percent. No big deal, right? Very clear. If the return on that day, instead of typing, I click it, right? More than 1%. Then, you type comma and give the value if it is true. You can see it right here. Value if true. So, I say, give the value 1. If not, I type a comma and then it means give the value if it fails. So, the value if it fails means uh, 0, right? So, close the parentheses, hit enter. Now, you may wonder, okay, here's 1%, right? Why give me value 0? You know? So, I double check. Everything looks good. So, maybe it is caused by the routing error. So, increase the number after the decimals place. You see, okay, the return on that day is actually 0.95%. So, I will increase everything by two number. Uh, give it two number after the decimal place so I, you can see it better. Now, how can uh, you copy to or uh, apply that formula to every uh, single day? Uh, you simply hold and trail. Yeah, I know now I only have like a 45 line, but in your orig original file you have 22,000 files, so you have to drag it, it will take you some more time to drag it. Uh, one way to do it is you can kind of hold control and scroll down so everything seems smaller. So it will save you the time to drag, right? You can see it. Now some of you may know that you can double click, but before you finish the first drag, there is no way. I don't think you can double click it. So, uh, I mean double click here. So now let's look at that. The day, do we have any day with more than 1%? Unfortunately, no. So we don't have any value 1 over here. Uh, let me change it. Okay. Instead of give it 1%, how about more than uh, positive? I mean, if the return is positive, give the value 1. Otherwise, give value 0. So all I need to do is to change the number 1 here into 0. And I hit enter. Right. So as you see, let me zoom in, as you see, on the first date, return is positive, and that is why I have number one. Now, do you need to drag it all the way down? Okay, you don't need to because you already complete one. You already complete one. So now, look, you move your cursor to the uh, bottom right, and it, of course, become a black cross, right? Double click. Yep, double click. You see, your formula is automatically updated. And here we go. It is negative return 0, positive return 1, positive return 1. Okay? So now let's give it back to more than 1%. Okay. 1%. And yes, double click. Okay? The second requirement is. Uh, Instead of giving the value 0 and 1, uh, then uh, you can put 
uh, the character or string like a good or bad so over here equal to if open the parentheses this one return on that day more than one percent then true value good you have to quote it good oops sorry good comma otherwise you know if the value fails uh bad close the parentheses hit enter so now let me see if you can yep in this case let me do it again in this case because you already have the uh, the data here field now excel understand that you can uh, you want to copy that uh, formula in the bad here to all the cell below so now move it here double click yep yeah everything become bad yep and again you can change it to say zero percent to see good or bad so first day good now you move here double click yep good bad good bad whenever the uh, uh, return change side from positive to negative that's it okay uh, the second thing uh, is when we have a range of value instead of one value for example uh, if the return is between 0 and 1 then say good else say bad I know if it is um, two percent, it's, it's still good. However, over here, I just want to say it is bad. So if within this range, I say it is good. Outside the range, I say bad. So how can I do it? Here is how. Okay, of course, equal to if right. Open the parentheses. Now, the return must be between one and zero, and uh. I'm sorry, I would like to stress the uh, word and right here. And. Yep. And. And Excel take that and into this function. If. Now, and. The return here. More than zero. And less than one. So instead of. And then we have and here already. You only need to type a comma and the return less than one percent close the parentheses this parentheses is for the end condition condition right yeah yeah if return more than zero percent and less than one percent so that complete the end condition now we go back to the if condition comma you see true value of course say good comma now that value if falls here highlighted bad and then what well, uh, you need to close it you close the if function yep now you can of course drag it good bad good bad so let me copy it over here you have it with you okay again we still use the if function however we need the return to be between one and the a zero and one percent so we we to say that to excel okay if return more than zero percent and less than one percent done comma then say good else say bad that's it okay uh may maybe you may if you want to change it to say zero and two percent for example you replace it with two hit enter and double click to update your uh, formula now finally I want to show you all the all function with if so the situation is if the return is less than 1% or more than 1% what does this mean 
when the market moves either below 1% or move above 1% in a day so it must be a big move day right like the market drop 2% or increase 2% yes it is a big move day on the market and the key word for us here is or or right so now let's say uh, let's say uh, let's tell excel to do it for us by now i think you know how to do it uh, because we already finished the end so now equal to if of course the keyword we use is or right or 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 now return less than negative one comma return more than positive one percent yep you can see here when i cl close the parenthesis it completes the all condition so if that condition is satisfied we give the value true which is big move else it means comma normal i close the quote close the parenthesis hit enter and now I have to drag it all the way down here. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let me copy it and uh, and paste it somewhere so it stay with us permanent permanently on the screen. Yeah. If condition or return less than one percent or return more than positive one percent if that is right we say big move otherwise it is normal day yep so now we have it so we have normal day most of them are normal day here big move the market drop 1.3 percent big move the market drop by 1.1 percent okay and uh big move also here uh, suddenly I remember that it may it may help us uh, if we put our if condition the, the the if cell right next to the data cell so in this case we don't have to drop so let me try it if or return less than negative one percent or return more than one percent close the parentheses big move close quote comma normal quote close the parentheses hit enter now normal now the reason i do it is i want it to stay together so hopefully excel understand what i want to do okay that's good so you see when that uh, if function is put close to the data column so you can see you don't have to drag it but simply double click yep so uh, that is everything for today thank you